Hi, this is Elisa from Local King Rubber Stand. Welcome to my channel. Have you got a chance to take a look at uh, my last few video, the Magic Mushroom Blending 101 and the 102, and also Color with Markers 101. If you haven't got a chance to check it out, make sure you check those videos. They are very useful. Today's video, I'm going to share with you a little bit more about the how to use the marker to do the blending job. So also, also I like to do a review, what's different between the rubber stamp and the clear stamp. And also I'm going to share with you a knock of Local King's product and the real Local King's product, what's different. If you have any question, make sure you send me an email and leave me a comment, let me know. So for our 5,000 YouTube subscription celebrate, celebration, um, I have decided to postpone until the end of this month. Because we just finished your spring promotion, I really like my customers and my viewers to try the stamps that you got first. Make some cards first, not just selling and selling. So stay tuned for that promotion. We are going to have a very good promotion for our 5,000 YouTube subscription celebration. Plus, I will give a $450 gift certificate for my royal viewers. So let's start today's video and hope you like it. In my last video, I was uh, mentioning that I'm, um, I'm working on this car's uh, prototype. So this is my prototype. And then I actually finished my final project is look like this. But today's video, actually, we're going to put this project on hold that I am going to upload, upload this video next. Because the today's video, I actually want to share with you a little bit more about the blending and also explain to you what's different between the, uh, the rubber stamp and the polymer stamp. So this is the stamp set is the Garden of the Life and the Land and the Sea. And uh, I already used that set to create, uh, create some other different kind of um, car project. Uh, I will put the link below and uh, make sure you check it out. Rubber stamp is so much fun because the uh, one stamp set is uh, too many different kind of possibility, and then uh, you can find uh, all the wonderful idea from Local King's online video library. So today's video, let me show you a little bit more about the blending that's started. In my last video, the video number 270, I was explaining what's different between the shadow stamp and the detail stamp. Hoping by now you get more information, more idea, which stamp is good for what. So this video is just my personal opinion. I don't mean to say the clear stamp is bad. I do have a lot of clear stamp. But I just want to share with you, when you want to use the markers, um, it's better to work with the rubber stamp because they take the ink better and I'm going to prove that in my video. So do you like the rubber stamp more or do you like the clear stamp more? When I start my business, I was thinking about to um, make all my rubber stamp into a clear stamp. I actually um, did the comparison. I actually have some of my stamp made with a clear stamp, but I was not happy with the result. That's why I decided to, um, to use a rubber stamp instead of a clear stamp. So and in today's video, I'm going to explain to you why. But I do have a lot of a clear stamp I show you. This is all the clear stamp I have. The only time I buy the clear stamp is the clear, um, is uh, for the sentiment. So because I found out all the sentiment because it help you when we have the rubber stamp. Rubber stamp is very gummy. When you trim and they are all handmade, hand, hand, handmade product. So when you trimming that piece of rubber is very gummy. It's really hard to trimming um straight line. So for the clear stamp, because when you stamp that, you can see where you want to stamp. It definitely um, make a, those kind of sentiment much easier than the um, rubber stamp because rubber stamp you cannot see. And then all after all your hard work and then you stamping the sentiment, you end up to have a cooked image. That's really painful. So I do have a lot of clear stamp. Those are all the clear stamp I have, but they are all sentiment. And, but this is your pers uh, personal preference. You buy the product that you feel comfortable. So I actually last, uh, I think uh, two years ago, one of my customers told me, say, hey, Lisa, I actually found out there is a knockoff of Local King's product on one of the website. 
And then I checked the website. You know what? I was just curious. Uh, how can they sell local kids product that cheap? And then, so I decided to order a set and then do a comparison. So when I received uh, the, uh, my order from those the knockoff company, I just realized that there's nothing I have to worry about that because in the beginning, I was wondering how can they sell these products so cheap? And then maybe I should, is that actually the price they sell is the lower that my cost. So I was thinking about, oh, I should order some if uh, their quality is good enough. I probably ask them to make the stamp instead of I have to stay at the, um, my studio one by one, hot pricing all local kings product. So I order one, and then when uh, when he arrived, I kind of feel oh, it's a clear stamp. You know, I don't mean clear stamp is bad, and then I just uh, I it's my personal opinion. I just found out the clear stamp, the life. Uh, the life is shorter than the rubber stamp. A lot of the company, they have moved their rubber stamp into a clear stamp because the, the clear stamp is much easier to to make. And I have created a video to share with you how a rubber stamp has been, how, how a rubber stamp in, uh, been born. If you haven't got a chance to take that video, you can click the link, link below. In that video, I actually share with you how I start to design a stamp and how to create a stamp from the beginning to the end. So that's something totally different with the clear stand because the clear stand can be ma uh, massively produced. But the one start, one thing about a clear stand is a clear stand cannot be as detailed as a rubber stand. And uh, the rubber stand, because we had to um, create a mattress and the mattress is so sen sensitive, they can pick up dust, they can pick up a hair. So that's what the clear stand cannot do. Okay, so first of all, the knockoff, you know, I take this uh, as a, a compromise because, compliment, not compromise, compliments because, uh, you know, my stamp is uh, good enough. They want to do the knockoff. They must have the people, you know, willing to purchase, but I'm sure after you place your order, you probably feel so disappointed because it is a clear stamp. It is not the rubber stamp. And I'm going to share with you when we stamp that, what's going to happen when you use the clear stamp. Maybe other people stand, um, other people, other companies clear stand the quality is better, but I'm sure polymer stand, they are pretty much uh, the same. But remember, this is just my personal opinion. I don't mean, I don't want to say all oh, the clear stamp is bad. I have a lot of, a lot of clear stamp. I'm just uh, um, saying that I prefer to have a rubber stamp. And after today's video, I hope you can leave me a um, comment. Let me know, do you prefer the rubber stamp or do you prefer the clear stamp? So that's a start today's video. You know, for most of the company on the market, we are all suffering by those uh, knockoff product. You won't believe it how, you know, how many of them. And then, but uh, I have a confidence that my customer, they will not to buy, they will not to buy the knockoff item. First reason, because they are not a rubber stamp. The second reason, the quality is just not uh, as good as a rubber stamp. When they try to copy my product, they actually copy exactly the same thing from my website, even the package, you see? Okay, I don't know how they did that, but uh, they, they just did it, okay? And then, what can we say? We cannot pre um, prevent this is happen, and I'm sure this has happened to my all my vendors friend, a great company. You know, it's just a, I remember one of my friends. She um she was uh, helping a company develop uh, those kind of Bluetooth uh, earphone, and then when those uh, Bluetooth earphone just come out the market, and then she was so happy. She told me, she said, "Hey, that's going to be my retirement." Because I remember when those uh, Bluetooth uh, earphone come out, she they was marked the price for two ninety nine US dollars, and I'm so happy for her. And then, but after two months, she say, "You know what? I got to find the other job because my company is filed bankruptcy." Why? Because uh, just two months later, they found exactly the same product and they are selling for thirty dollars. But uh. I am sure you get what you pay for. Maybe the price is cheaper, but the quality, uh, the quality the same. You really have to put a question mark on that. 
So this is just a rubber stamp. Like I say, rubber stamp is all about the design. You know, I hope you can support all the hardworking artists. We really work so hard, and then especially like a, like me, I spent a hours to create a video to share with my customer how to use the product. So you buy the knockoff, and then you, you know, I don't worry about them because they can they don't even have a mark on this uh, product, and then. They cannot say, oh, go to local kids website, watch it. They don't even have a sample card. The sample part is they exactly take the screenshot from my website and they post on their, their website. Exactly the same thing. So they just erase the, the, the logo. So you buy this and you cannot, they cannot say, hey, go to local. They, do they have a video to show you how to use it? No, they only put the sample card, my sample card. They cannot say, go to local kids uh, rubber stamp website to watch uh, their video. I think that's really not a fair copy somebody's stuff. And I hope my customer, my viewer, you can support all the hardworking artists by not buying the knockoff item. If you don't buy it, they won't sell and then they will not to um, produce more. But if you keep buying it, you know, you just put the uh, all business in jeopardy and then one day we cannot beat the beat them and then that's a uh, the end of our business. So that way, no more YouTube video for you anymore. Just kidding. I'm sure my customer, they realize what's different between the real product and the knockoff product. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you what's different between these two. Okay, can you believe it? They even copied the die cut, but here's something I want to share with you. Okay, so first of all, they are just exactly download the image from my website and maybe they do a little bit erasing or whatever. First of all, the image is a little bit smaller than the rubber stamp. And then you, you have been see how I create my die cut. My die cut, I don't even use the auto trace. I actually go every single point to try to um, create that cutting line. So Local King's die cut is perfectly lined out the stamp image. If you you don't, you know, do this way, you always end up to have that extra wide gap. If you use auto trace, you, they just use auto trace in tracing the outline. There's no way their die cut can be as close as a Local King's die cut. It's really depend on how you do your stuff. Okay. So that's the first thing, their stamp image is smaller than um, Local King's real stamp. So I want to just share with you, if you are planning, just use one color. That's a uh, try few things. That's just a uh, grab an uh, uh, ink pack to see what's different, okay? So I am using just Memento, uh, Memento die base ink pack. So we're going to ink your stamp. Okay, so that's what it look like when you ink it you can barely see the ink setting on your stamp, okay? So we're going to stamp it, okay? That's not bad. You can see the black and white image. Can you see the difference? What's different? Exactly the same stamp, not the same way, they are smaller. See the coverage, the rubber stamp and the clear stamp, what's different? If the clear stamp is just outline stamp, it, it, it's, it's good because they just have an outline. But if they are the shadow stamp, you know, I hope you can tell what's the difference. Okay, so that's the first. What's the difference between the shadow stamp and the detail stamp? That's don't talk about uh, or image. We're just talking about the uh, quality. That's the first one. The second one, and you guys probably already realized the local things stamp is all about the image and about the shadow stamp. I have a lot of shadow stamp and then that see what's different when we use the markers. So I am going to do exactly okay, the same way to color these two stamp and then that see what's the what's the different. Okay, so let's do these. So I'm going to just, uh, that's just uh, do like a branding calling. I don't work on the detail, but in the end of this video, I'm going to share with you a little bit more blending. So, oh, you know what? Uh, that's a start on the rubber stand first because uh, 
you probably worry, oh, they're going to dry, it's not fair, and then why we have to start on the clear stand first? Uh, um, that's a start on the rubber stand first. So I start with this uh, light orange. I just uh, color all my goldfish. Remember in my last video I was mentioning foundation color is like you put a foundation on your on your face. And then now I am coloring the clear stamp. You can see the color actually is beaded on the surface of uh, this stamp. You can see on the rubber stamp they are nicely covered, no stroke. You can see on the clear stem, they, they, the, 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 the ink is kind of just a floating on the surface, right? Okay, so that's what it look like when you use the uh, markers. Oh, I have a dead fish. Do you see what I see? <laughs> it's different, right? Okay, so that's clean again. We are going to do one more. Okay, so can you say they are the same thing? The price is just one third. Do you want to pay one third to buy a piece of crap or you prefer to get a good quality stuff? You make your judgment call. Okay, let's do again. So I'm going to start same thing again. I'm going to do on the rubber stand first. Okay, because uh, maybe you say, oh, they dry too fast. Uh, by the time you stamping on the uh, finish, uh, your you start with a clear stamp, and then you go to do the um, rubber stamp, and then uh, they already dry. That's why they don't ink well. How about I start with the uh, with the rubber first, so they don't dry. Okay, so that's do again. This time I'm going to do the blending, not blending. I just use a tree color, so I use orange. Okay. I do a little bit red, okay, exactly the same treatment. I do a little bit black on the eye. Eye. Okay, so I don't, I, I didn't um, blending or do anything, okay. You see what's different. This is clear stem, this is a shadow, uh, this is a rubber stem. Okay, make sure I don't have a dead fish. Okay, that's. You tell me, I lay the same. I know even though they color my image, but you see the coverage, you see what's different. Okay, so let's do one. Um, I think I think this is enough to prove to you what's different between the shadow stamp and the, sorry, what's different between the rubber stamp and the clear stamp. Remember, I am not uh, talking about the clear stamp is bad. This is just my personal opinion. These, I'm just talking about this knockoff. This is the people who is uh, stealing local king Lisa's hard work. I curse you. Well, I'm sure they cheat you one time and then that's it. I, um, I don't know if you want to order second time. Well, you know, that's totally after you. I am not even worried a bit. You know, because I know my product, the quality is number one. And then customer service is number two. So do you really feel comfortable to give your credit card over the, the website? You know, somebody, you don't know where are they. And then a lot of a credit card fl uh, fly has been uh, happening every day. So just uh, be careful a little bit. Okay. So I have a um, proof to you what's different. Let's just put this one away and uh, let's do a little bit blending now. Okay, so remember when you have a, a new um, shadow rubber stand, <sighs> this light is just drive me crazy. You have a, a new shadow stand, make sure you use eraser, erase the surface. Okay, and then I'm just use this marker. You don't have to use the uh, local kings marker. You can use any kind of water-based marker. They will work just fine. But just remember, for the shadow stamp, you got to erase foundation color. Today I'm going to show you a little bit blending. 
I love chubby style. I love these koi fish, not koi fish, goldfish because it's chubby. Okay, so foundation color, you just got to make sure. I think you guys probably want to see the blending. Do you want to see the blending? Well, okay, let's do that. Okay. That's uh, do a uh, blending on top. So foundation color, you're going to color the all the stamp first, right? This one I'm going to color then. There is no way I will send my original file uh, file to those company. Every every day, every week, I receive email say, "Hey, would you like uh, we can produce uh, your product for you?" Yeah, right. Just give you all the original. Um, file and then next month I see everything is uh, on the Amazon. I do have a lot of friends they are suffering by those I, those uh, um, pirate copy. They can't even buy from Amazon. I don't understand, you know, Amazon. Okay, so I did the foundation color and then I'm going to do a little bit red here. Okay, and then remember in my last video, I was mentioning you can use your lighter color, do a little bit blending. Try to, you know, blending the two color between. Okay, oh, I didn't blend here. That's blending a little bit. You can see all the ink is a kind of beat. Um, it's kind of like a floating on the surface because the rubber stain is like a human skin. They have a little pore on the surface. So when you do that, they actually fill in the hole. But the polymer stain or clear stain, they are completely flat. When you put the ink, the water have no place to go. So that's why they're floating on the surface. Okay, and then that's uh, enough. And I'm going to do a little bit brown. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit on the top. Okay, I want to show you that I am using my lighter color blending directly on the top. Okay, and then my marker become a little bit um, contaminated with a brown color. Don't worry, just uh, wipe off with a wet cloth. They will come back to orange right away. Okay, so just do a little bit here. Oh, I have to blending this one too. Let's do exactly the same thing. Okay, you can see all the ink, right? And then let's do the black eyeball and then do a little bit oops. the last video i create because the image a little bit too small you don't really need to blink okay so i do my this, and then i'm going to use my red color to blending okay you can see here right see i use my red color kind of blending a little bit if you are using the local king's uh, markers, don't you worry ruining your marker. If you ruin your marker, you know, I guarantee send you a new box. It's not going to ruin your, you ruin your marker. My red become a little bit dirty. And watch this. I just clean with a wet cloth. Watch. Don't blink. Don't blink. My red. Okay. So that's do a little bit on this one too. Okay. You can see. Where's my ink? I can't see the ink. Okay, that's blending a little bit. Okay, don't worry, my markers. Let me clean my markers. There you go. Okay, so that's see what it look like. That's a stamping with a, this a clear one first. That's a, what a, your goldfish look like. And then on the rubber stamp, can still talk for maybe two minutes. They are not going to dry. Okay, ready? That's my goldfish. You be the judge. What's different between the rubber stamp and clear stamp? What's the real local king's rubber stamp and the knockoff? So I hope the, today's video, I really um, prove to you you get what you pay for. I know the price is cheap, you know, that's don't even talk about those kind of die cut. I have a vendor friend, you know, they copy 300 of their pattern and they put on the Amazon. Their die cut, the quality sucks. They won't cut, you know, if you have been buying local King's uh, um, die cut or die cut from to the machine, no matter how detailed it is, it will cut through. 
a lot of a knock of die card, you run to the machine five times, they still one card too. So this is just a short video I really want to explain to my customers and I really like to thank you you guys to support local King Roberts Dam especially this tough time and I am working as hard as I can create as many as a video to share with you how to use the local King's product. You know selling a product is easy, the service the, you know the the how to use it those kind of information those are very important you buy a product you don't know how to use it what's the point so that's going to be today's video and uh, this video is coming soon so this is only uh, well, uh, yeah and uh, one more if you like to see more blending technique with the markers that uh, I'm actually thinking about today is uh, one of the stamp sets is called butterfly kisses so I'm just thinking about I'm going to offer a very very cheap price and then maybe we can choose a day and we are going to work all together how do you think if you like the idea let me know I w um so this is what the look like this stamp set is a butterfly kisses is a double die and the regular price is $24.99 I'm thinking about maybe $17.99 plus free shipping so that way if you have it that's wonderful maybe we should choose a play day and let's get in um let's get together in front of the camera and we're going to do step by step so I'm still trying to figure out how to do this zoom meeting stuff I'm still working on that and if you are on the list for the local kings first zoom meeting I you will receive an email soon so try to mark down all the questions you have and I will do my best to answer your question and then let me let me think about the, these butterfly kisses I think this is a great set to helping you um, do a little bit blending and it's one of a very very popular set so this is Lisa from local King Robert Sam thank you so much for watching see you next time bye